Game of Thrones Season 1, Episode 7. You win or you die. Okay, guys, so we studied the map. Okay, uh, well, I, I did a lot of studying. I'm gonna impress you guys. I know about, I know all about like Westeros and Essos and all that stuff, right? <laughs> learned a lot about the geography because I studied it. He studied it. Yeah, so learned a lot of the characters' names, memorized them, did my research, basically. So a lot of people thought that in the last episode I was having trouble following along. Don't know why y'all thought that. Definitely wasn't at all. <laughs> but I think it was just because I don't recall the names right off the top of my head that people think that I'm like struggling or something. So. Okay, and another thing is I read things. the subtitles super. I read the subtitles super hard. I notice you always laugh quicker than me. Yeah, it's and it makes I read me look subtitles. dumb. But she's reading the subtitles. I noticed <laughs> that. And I can't it help there. it. Like I was always the person who, when I was little and went to the movies, I would go to the closed caption one. And I was the only person in there sometimes. Bro, because I, I started to notice, I'm like, it just looks like I'm just a little <laughs> bit slower than you. Like I just like my reaction times off or something. No, but. your reaction time is just fine. I'm not sure how you guys feel about it, but you guys let me know because it is very important. But my assumption, just based on everything that I've gathered, is we're doing it the way that most people on Patreon would prefer. I'm not saying that like our actual reactions are the words coming out of our mouth, but the format in which we're <laughs> yeah. presenting it, right? So I don't think that you guys want us to like pause the episode every time we want to talk. Maybe we should, maybe we shouldn't. You guys understand that we watch these five times in editing and all that. So yeah, I don't know about that, but I need to address these YouTube people because so many people are getting mad because they're like, pause the movie, well, can pause we, the movie. Can and we I'm just like, say that the vibe of our channel is like, you're our friend, you're in our living room and you're watching this with us and like, we're not amongst us. We're not going to pause something and talk about it while right. we're watching it. We're trying to be like kind of genuine in that way. And I think that's what makes us different. Right. Because I thought we were supposed to just invite you guys in, not like stop everything and like present a show and try to act like, you know, like we're I, the I don't best know. reviewers because we're really not. We're not. We're not. We have <laughs> no. no accountability for mm -hmm. that. Like we're just like, well, not accountability, credibility, <laughs> like, wrong word. But yeah, we have no credibility to be reviewers. <laughs> like, yeah, we're just ranting a little bit because yeah. the the people are really, really passionate about pausing. And don't don't get me wrong, guys. If there's something that we need to discuss, that's like a long, like you know, I feel like man, we really need to talk about this. I'll pause it. No problem. But as you guys know, man, we are going to have a couch coming very soon. We had to order it <laughs> uh, because for some reason you have to order black couches. You cannot find a black couch. Yeah. If you have a black couch, drop a comment below. I'm sidetracked. But um, <laughs> anyways, it's coming. And when that happens, man, I have to stand up, dodge the mic, hit it, shake the camera, hit the desk, hit the pause button. I just don't feel like it's like practical. And I don't feel like people are going to appreciate every time I impulsively want to say something. I'm sitting there. Because we say you stuff know what a lot. Like, like yeah, we're known we, to be talkers. Like, dude, if we're we, both an episode is going to be two hours if we pause every time. <laughs> and, like, you know, you guys might love that. I, I don't know. I really don't know. But you but guys then we'll never know. get content out, you know? <laughs> like, we'll but I'm starting know. to get irritated because it's the tone of the people on YouTube demanding what to do. <laughs> the I'm tone. Like, Bro, don't tell us the what tone to do. Via uh, typing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the, the demanding. Like, okay, I have to say it. You guys are idiots. Pause it. I'm like, bro, you don't have to be so negative. I know, and you can call us idiots, whatever. Because my attitude is you can go make your own channel if that's how you feel. Or you can go watch the, the original video. Or you can go watch somebody who wants to pause it and take notes yeah, and or impress you like that. But that ain't me, and I'm not right. about to sit here and try to be all... I'm going to do it my way, basically, is what I'm saying. But if you guys, if the majority of you guys feel opposite, then we're going to do it our way, because this is our channel. But it's just the tone. And if you I don't like lovely people at Patreon think we should do it a different way, we'll listen because to Because ultimately, you. ultimately, Patreon pays our bills. YouTube does not. YouTube is free. You guys pay your money. If you guys want me to pause the video every time I want, I'll pause the video. But if <laughs> You guys don't, I won't. That's anyway, all I got to say about that. I'm ready to get into some Game of Thrones. Yes. Sorry, dude. So many negative comments about that. Yeah. So I'm starting to think we were maybe saying you guys how great feel different. The community it was, and then it all just kind of backfired. Right. Well, we could talk less. Right. Yeah, That's could. also an option. We could talk less, but we talk a lot dude like we i can't really help do. it like she my does name, when i was in third grade they called me babbling brook oh that's the same time i was a good reader okay let's go maybe we'll try to talk a little less I'll but try, we have studied man. man we did our research that's just for the rant on patreon that's a five minute rant and i mean i'm watching this stuff like six trillion times when i'm editing it so like i i think it's fun to talk to you about some of the stuff i learned like on demand what did I tell you? I told him when we were about to say what the episode was, I was like, it's called You Live or You Die. And he almost he almost said it. I knew that. I knew she wasn't going to be right. I was like, let me double check that. You Live or You Die. Because she'd be coming die. up with some crazy names, bro. Look at Westeros over there. King's Landing in the south. The geography. What a corrupt place where all the money flows. And the birds are everywhere. Absolutely. What is that? Oh. oh, that's the Eerie, of course. No, the Eerie, but listen, the Eerie is that. The Veil is the kingdom. Thanks for the comments on that. Did not understand it. Yeah, plus Mrs. October reads the comments more than me. Yeah, that is true. But, but honest, we have someone who is also filtering our comments for everyone who is asking. My sister, thank you for that. Yo, yo. Shout out. The Wall in the North, where <laughs> Jon Snow resides. <laughs> And Sam, I like him. Quite a very underappreciated honor it is to serve on the wall, but someone has to do it, right? 
All right, let's get on over there to Essos. <laughs> is it that? Yeah, that's what it's called. There's the door of the pack. <laughs> na, 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 na. Boy. <laughs> All right, dude, let's go. Game of Thrones time. What the hell? <laughs> you didn't set up tents. So the armies are marching, huh? No idea. Are they going? Oh, there's Jamie. Within the foreground, <laughs> I'll be branded an enemy of the crown. The audacity. Oh, that's dark. Brave man. Terrible judgment. Who's that? No idea. I was about to say, I don't know him. Attacking him was stupid. <laughs> Take it outside, chief. Why is he Lannisters. talking to the butcher like that? <laughs> Go on, say something clever. Is it symbolic he's getting a, a leg deer? A sag thing? Catelyn Stark took my brother. Why is he still alive? Tyrion? Ned Stark. Speared him through the leg Ooh, before we finished. I can't focus. Why is he still alive? It wouldn't have been clean. You spend too much time worrying about what other people think of you. I could care less what anyone thinks of me. You know, mm. That's what you want people to think of you. <laughs> it's the truth. Well, he did. He's the Kingslayer, right? Yeah. When you hear them whispering Kingslayer behind your mm. back, doesn't it bother you? Of course it bothers me. A lion doesn't concern himself with the opinions of a sheep. Ooh. I'm giving you half of our forces, 30,000 men. We'll bring them to Catelyn Stark's girlhood home. Mind her that Lannisters pay their debts. Wow, so 30,000 soldiers are about to go to Winterfell? Why is the butcher giving him that? He's one of us. And every oh, he's day a that he remains okay. a prisoner, the less our name commands respect. If another house can seize one of our own, we are no longer a house to be feared. So that's her dad? Okay, yeah, it has to be. He talked about the mom. It's the family name that lives on. It's all that lives on. I really thought that was the butcher. I didn't think he was like an important character at all. <laughs> You're blessed with abilities that few men possess. Maybe everyone's a butcher in these times. <laughs> True. And you're still blessed with youth. What have you done with these blessings? You've served as a glorified bodyguard for two kings. One a madman, the other a drunk. I mean, he could have done worse things, I guess, right? The future of our family will be determined in these next few months. We could establish a dynasty that will last a thousand years, or we could collapse into nothing, as the Targaryens did. Is that why the Lannisters are rich? Because they live in a tent? So they save on castle fees? Wow. That's a tough thing for your dad to say. So it's obviously pushing Jamie in a moral uh, like direction he's not comfortable going, right? Look how uneasy so. he feels. So he said, bring 30,000 soldiers to Winterfell and show up to Catelyn Stark's childhood home, meaning like just bring them to her doorstep. So Jamie didn't seem comfortable with that. Well, that's not her childhood home if they're going to Winterfell. Well, no, I think, oh, okay, okay. Oh yeah, because they're there. They're in the, the veil, right? In the Eyrie? No, she's a Tully. So I don't know I where that is. Place, my lady. Okay. Perhaps it's time to go home. The South doesn't seem to agree with you. I know the truth John Aaron died for. Do you, Lord Stark? Whoa. Is that why you called me here to pose me riddles? <laughs> <laughs> He's done this before. Jamie would have killed him. My brother's worth a thousand of your friend. Your brother or your lover? Mm. Ooh. So he found out. Jamie and I are more than brother and sister. We shared a womb. Came into this world together. We belong together. My son saw you with him. Mm. Oh, we put it together, didn't we? Dang. He? Detective you Ned. With all my heart. No more than I love mine. And they're all Jamie's. <laughs> Thank the gods. Wow. You've always hated him. Hated him. I worshipped him. And when I finally saw him on our wedding day in the set of Baylor, it was the happiest moment of my life. Wow. And that night he crawled on top of me, stinking of wine, and did what he did, what little he could do, and whispered in my ear, Liana. Mm. Your sister his was sister. a corpse and I was a living girl and he loved her more than me. When the king returns from his hunt, I'll tell him the truth. Oh my lord. You and your children, I will not have their blood on my hands. Go as far away as you can with as many men as you can. <laughs> I think not. Because wherever you go, Robert's wrath will follow you. And what of my wrath, Lord Stark? Ooh. You should have taken the realm for yourself. Jamie told me about the day King's Landing fell. He was sitting in the Iron Throne and you made him give it up. All you needed to do was climb the steps yourself. Such a sad mistake. I've made many mistakes in my life, but that wasn't one of them. Oh, but it was. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. There is no middle ground. She Ooh. dropped the name, didn't she? Yeah. That was an intense conversation, so I'm getting the vibe that... She's about to do something. <laughs> like, well, that's what I'm getting. She's about to do something crazy. I learned that I'll never win. Not that way. That's their game. I'm not going to fight them. That's what I know. That's what I am. <laughs> And only by admitting what we are can we get what we want. And what do you want? Everything. Everything there is. I like him a lot less now. Now wash yourselves. <laughs> Both of you are working tonight. You want everything there is? That's crazy. <laughs> mm. Well, he basically told us that Catelyn Sark was actually supposed to be with Ned's brother. 
Look at that broom. That's crazy. <laughs> that's not going to do nothing. You're a very lucky girl. Do you know that? Where I come from, if someone like you attacked a little lord, at low tide, we'd lay you on your back on the beach, your hands and feet chained to four stakes. The sea would come in closer and closer. You'd see death creeping towards you a few inches at a time. Where's it you come from? The Iron Islands. You've never heard where I'm from, neither. Trust me, my lord. You're not living in the wilderness anymore. In civilized lands, you refer to your betters by their proper titles. <laughs> and what's that? Lord. Why? What do you mean, why? My father is Balon Greyjoy, Lord of the Iron Islands. What's that got to do with you? <laughs> <laughs> your father's Lord, how can you be Lord too? I will be Lord after my father. So you're not Lord now? No, you, are you having a go at me? Just don't understand how you Southerners do things. I'm not a Southerner. You're from south of the wall. That makes you a Southerner to me. You're an impudent little wench, aren't you? Don't know what impudent means. <laughs> impudent. It means rude, disrespectful. Mm -hmm. Do you want to lose that chain? Leon Greyjoy. <laughs> the lady is our guest. Thought she was our prisoner. Are the two mutually exclusive in your experience? <laughs> Outs off. Chances are I won't be nearby the next time that happens. I'm used to worse than him. Aww. I'm used to men could chew that boy up and pit their teeth with his bones. Why did you come here? Didn't mean to come here. Meant to get much further south than this. As far south as south goes. Before the long night comes. What are you afraid of? There's things that sleep in the day and hunt at night. White walkers? The things you speak of. They've been gone for thousands of years. It wasn't gone, old man. So she's seen it, so she was trying to go south. Oh, wow. Yes. Man, this thing's take a thousand year nap. <laughs> How is he just gonna walk up there like that? Isn't it slippery? Mm -mm. Don't you miss girls? Riders, we have to blow the horn. <laughs> what? Why is he alone? One blast for a ranger returning, two for wildlings. Three There's no rider. Oh, no. This feels like some development, doesn't it? Is his uncle is has his uncle returned? Oh no! Yo, that horse is spooked. They must have saw a White Walker. Where's my uncle? Ned. It's Robert. We were hunting it. <gasps> oh. What? He got hurt. Dangerous to hunt boar. All time with you. Show me how to be a man. I was never meant to be a father. Joffrey's <laughs> <laughs> just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so what happened to him? He said they were hunting. Right. He got attacked by a boar because he's fat and drunk. Go on. You don't want to see this. My fault. Too much wine. Missed my thrust. <laughs> wow. <gasps> oh my God. Stinks. Oh man. So he's like, Stinks he's like an honor. Death. Mm -hmm. Stinks like death. He said. <laughs> <laughs> I paid the bastard back, Ned. Ask him if I didn't. Ask him. They're like, yeah, dude, but you're dying. The funeral feast to be the biggest the kingdoms ever saw. <laughs> Spend all the money <laughs> on your way out. Everyone to taste the ball that got me. <laughs> <laughs> what in the That's world? tough, boy. I leave us. I need to talk to Ned. He could be in there. Oh, she's like, my sweet. She's I'll like, no. All of you. <laughs> she said, Robert, my sweet. Yeah, she don't want him along with Ned, does she? <laughs> no. And Robert, you know, my oh sweet. my God, it's about to go down right now. <laughs> this is intense. This show's about to develop, I feel like. This is that moment. Yeah, I'm scared. You damned fool. Paper and ink on the table. Write down what I say. Hurry, Ned. Oh my God, but he has to tell you something. In the name of Robert. The house Baratheon, first of, you know how it goes. <laughs> first of his name. I hereby command Eddard, titles, titles, to serve as Lord Regent and Protector of the Realm. Oh. To rule in my stead until my son Joffrey comes of age. About that, King. Oh my gosh. To my rightful heir. Give it over. Oh, is he going to read it? Is he not going to tell him? What a dang good guy. He's going to let him die in peace. Baratheon. Dang, a, that was a good signature. What a hard name, bro. Give it to the council after I'm dead. At least they'll say I did this right, this one thing. You'll rule now. You'll hate it worse than I did, but you'll do it well. The girl, Daenerys. You were right, Aris. Little finger, my brother. Worthless. No one to tell me no but you. Only you. Let her live. Stop it if it's not too late. I will, my son. Help him, Ned. God, he knows he's Make a little demon. Than me. I'll do everything I can to honor your memory. My memory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. King Robert Baratheon, murdered by a pig. <laughs>
Dude, a pig, murder by a pig. And let me die. Oh, he's not. He didn't even tell him. He just knew we couldn't. That's what I'm saying. He was just too good of a guy. He didn't want to give him that torment. He didn't want Robert's last thoughts of his life to be. Give him milk of the poppy. Milk of the poppy? Oh, that must be like a pain reliever. Maybe. He was reading from the wine. Milk of the poppy. <laughs> That's cool. I failed him. No man could have protected him from himself. Who gave the king this wine? His squire. Well, honest boy. Such a dutiful boy to make sure his grace did not lack refreshment. I do hope the poor lad does not blame himself. Oh. Whoa, what's the implication He's here? suggesting that that little boy poisoned him? His nah. grace has had a change of heart. Not poisoned, he was just drunk. Targaryen. Those birds have flown. See, he's stirring he's the pot, like I think. Dead already. Because you saw the king was demanding wine. He's like, my wine. He's like, he didn't yeah, poison him. He was just getting him drunk. But he's a Lannister. Right. And I think that that guy's just spreading like paranoia for some reason. Throne. <laughs> It's so cool how they have their own language for this show. Yeah. Insane. Definitely wanted to point that out. I don't think I mentioned it. They did that in Lord of the Rings, too. Yeah. The elves. She's got some convincing to do, basically. <laughs> Maybe she's learning Whoa. that she's not going to be able to go across the sea with him because he doesn't believe in it at all. I was about to say, maybe that's the very first implication that they're about to have two complete different ambitions. Can you help me make him understand? Have patience. You will go home. I promise you. My brother was a fool, I know, but he was the rightful heir to the Seven Kingdoms. Forgive me, Kelly, but your ancestor, Aegon the Conqueror, didn't see six of the kingdoms because they were his right. He seized them because he could. Right. And because he had dragons. Uh, having a few dragons makes things easier. You don't believe it. Have you ever seen a dragon, Palisi? Enjoy the market. I'll rejoin you soon enough. Oh, because he's going to go tell Varys something. That's why he keeps going away. Right. I realized that when I was editing. I was like, this man keeps running away. The spider sends his greetings and his congratulations. A royal pardon. You can go home now. Whoa. So what does he do? Does he say or does he abandon ship? I don't know. Does he believe in the cause, I guess? Because <laughs> if somebody banned me, man, it'd be really hard to want to go back, you know? But maybe he hates it there. The Dothraki are unpredictable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he said one taste and you'll name your first child after me. My lady, you are from Westeros. You have the honor of addressing Daenerys of the House Targaryen, Khaleesi of the Riding Men, and Princess of the Seven Kingdoms. Rise. I'd still like to taste that wine. I have a dry red from the arbor. Let me give you a cask. You honor me, sir. Uh, 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 uh. They don't trust it. You know, there are right. many in your homeland that pray for your return, princess. Also, he has Hogan. I have a thirst. Open it. Ooh. No way he's trying to poison her. Maybe Varys was, because he like has connects, it looks right. like. And he's the one that said, remember, he was like, you we should gotta, just Yeah, do they it. want to assassinate her, yeah. Yeah. Paul. It would be a crime to drink a wine this rich without at least giving it time to breathe. Do as he says. Ooh. As the princess commands. Hopefully it's nothing, man. It's going to be so awkward if there's nothing wrong with it. I know. They just bullied him up. He was just trying to be nice. Can you smell the fruit, sir? Taste it, my lord. Tell me that that is not the finest wine that has ever touched your tongue. Make him drink it. You first. Oh. I'm afraid I am not worthy of the vintage. You will drink. Oh. I just don't know. This is stressing me out. Right. Yep, that's exactly what it was. He confirmed. You should have just drank it because now you're going to get like your head chopped off. Yeah, to be honest. <laughs> Bro, he's about to die in the most brutal way, probably. This is about to be crazy. You came to us as outlaws. Oh, are they graduating? They're honorable men now. <laughs> Do you hear the speech, though? You came to us rich, rich, came to us poor. Some of you bear the names of proud houses. It does not matter. All that is in the past. Here. Look at Sam. <laughs> we are all one house. You're allowed to look happy. It's going to be a ranger. Isn't that what you always wanted? I want to find my uncle. I wish I could help all you, but I'm no ranger. It's the steward's life for me. <laughs> the honor in being a steward. But this food, you begin anew. This place gives me nightmares in a way. I know. I would hate to be there. A man of the night's watch lives his life for the realm, for gold. The glory. You've all learnt the words. Think carefully before you say them. The penalty for desertion is death. 
Episode one, we've seen it. Those kids were like 15 over there. Did you see that? Yeah. Do any of you still keep the old gods? I do, my lord. Yeah, I read if you do, you're in, you're from the north. You find a Whirlwood a mile north of the wall. And you're old gods too, maybe. So I'm assuming the old gods are better than the new ones, because if the people in the south like the new gods, then that ain't good. <laughs> I was named in the light of the seven. The night's watch is my house now. The seven have never answered my prayers. Perhaps the old gods will. Yeah, because there's like the seven and the old gods. Mm -hmm. We've all been assigned an order according to our needs and your strengths. Ren to the rangers, Samuel to the stewards, John to the stewards, <laughs> to the builder. He's not a ranger. Right. May all the gods preserve you. Is that like for life? Can you um, try <laughs> can, to get that change? Can you rank up? Right, exactly. <laughs> can you prove yourself while you're stewarding? At Wait, least he's with Sam. Do you notice John has a different like... Coat? Yeah. His looks like it's made out of dire wolf or something. Yeah, and everyone else has that black one. To help I, identify we noticed him, these I things. That old man, that poor old guy. And he's in the cold. Sam, right. Uh, you will assist me in the rookery and library. Luke, report to one-eyed Joe in the stables. Make no comment about his nose. <laughs> John Snow, Lord Commander Mormont has requested you for his personal steward. Oh, wow. <laughs> Will I serve the Lord Commander's meals and fetch hot water for his butt? Certainly. Change his sheets. That's punishment for yourself, too. Mm-hmm. Do you take me for a servant? We took you for a man of the Night's Watch, but perhaps we were wrong. They did him dirty, though, because he was beating everybody up single-handedly, 3v1, and then he gets <laughs> pushed as a steward. That's kind of messed up. This is one, yeah, this is one of those hard love from the coaches thing. Mm-hmm. Stewards are nothing but maids. It's not fair. Fair? I was singing for a high lord at Acorn Hall when he put his hand on my leg. I pushed him away and he said he'd have my hands cut off for stealing their silver. So now I'm here. I'll never see my family again. I thought you were caught stealing the wheel of cheese for your starving sister. I was going to tell a bunch of strangers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that lord get punched in the nose, boy. <laughs> he said, can you sing me a song? And he walks <laughs> off. He's like, what the heck? <laughs> the old man is the lord commander of the Night's Watch. You'll be with him day and night. Attend him at meetings. You'll know everything. Be part of everything. Right, he'll have intel. He wants to groom you for command. I don't know about that. Nah. <laughs> he just wants to watch that. you bathe his clothes. I always wanted to be a ranger. I always wanted to be a wizard. <laughs> 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 he was so serious. Oh, oh my gosh. He was so serious. So basically, John in his heart doesn't want to be a leader. He just wants to fight and do his own thing. Yeah, he wants to be a ranger. A lone ranger. <laughs> Synchronize. He named you protector of the realm. Give me an hour and I can put a hundred swords at your command. And what should I do with a hundred swords? Strike tonight. What the hell? You must hell? get Joffrey away from his mother and into our custody. Every moment you delay gives Cersei another moment to prepare. By the time Robert dies, it will be too late for the both of us. So they're going to kill him off. This isn't about the bloody line of succession. Right, he's being kind of old school, right? He's thinking it goes to the air. And people are like, you can just take that. He inspires no love. He's not a king. I am. Oh. Hell no. Shooting the shot. Stannis is a commander. He's led men into war twice. He's saying they just need a fundamental white. Like, change in philosophy. Right. He's trying to be a man of the people. I will not dishonor Robert's last hours by shedding blood in his halls and dragging frightened children from their beds. I mean, if he wants to be king, go do it himself, right? Right. You will sail to Dragonstone tonight. You will place this in the hand of Stannis Baratheon, not his captain of the guard, not his wife. To be honest, it's a really good thing that Ned knows how to do all this. I know. Wait, yes, wait politician. Lord. God, here comes this pervert. <laughs> My lord protector. These snakes in the grass spreading that stuff real quick. The king has no true born sons. Ooh. Jeremy Lannister's bastard. The throne passes to his brother. So it would seem. Right. Unless. There is no unless. He is the rightful heir. You would be wise to deny it to him and to make sure Joffrey succeeds. Right. That would start a war, right? He's saying it's just not good for the realm, huh? Make peace with the Lannisters. Release the imp. Wed your daughter to Joffrey. And if Joffrey seems likely to cause problems when he comes into his throne, we simply reveal his little secret and seat Lord Renly there instead. We. Oui. My price would be modest. Bro, I would have his head cut off. Yeah, but I don't know. He might be right. Yeah, if you want to see a thousand years of corruption. I mean, yeah, but to save your life, like, he's really risking it. I won't do it. So it will be Stannis and war. There is no other choice. So why did you call me here? Not for my wisdom, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> you promised Catelyn you would help me. I need the gold cloaks. The city watch is 2,000 strong. You know what you want me to do. You know it has to be done. It's not honorable, so... When the queen proclaims one king and the hand proclaims another, whose peace do the gold cloaks protect? Who do they follow? 
Yeah. The man who pays them. Okay, so you know how we say that we're seeing war coming? Yeah. So it's very clear what's happening now. Well, he's saying if the rightful heir, which is Stannis, his brother, if if he becomes king, then it's going to be a war. The Lannisters are going to declare war on them. Because, yeah, absolutely. Because they feel like Joffrey's the rightful heir, according to, like... And it's going to be their word against theirs. And yeah. They're the richest. And really, like, Ned is... That's dangerous for Ned. That's yeah, what I'm saying. That's why I'm saying I see Littlefinger's side as well, because that's by, dangerous. By him having honor, that doesn't just mean, oh, I'm having honor and I'm going to sit here. It means that if he's, you know, which inevitably he knows that if he does the right thing, soldiers will march to Winterfell and put his daughter's heads on spikes, but he's right. still willing to do it. So that just goes to show the seriousness. Look at the bleeding eyes. And bear witness to my vow, and now my watch begins. It shall not end until my death. Wow. I shall take no wife. I shall live and die at my post. I am the watcher on the walls, the shield that guards from the realm of men. I pledge my life for this night and all the nights to come. Yanelta's boys, rise now as men of the night's watch. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I guess time will tell. <laughs> this seems like... So I guess the idea is this is just a complete waste of time or either it's extremely serious and we're right. not sure. Okay. Well, they're painting it as a complete waste of time, but obviously obviously it's a show and they're not going to do us like that. What you got there? Well, they might. Yeah, they might. Dang it. God be good. When the Kalasar rides, he'll be leashed to a saddle and forced to run behind the horses for as long as he can. Oh, no. And when he falls? I saw a man last nine miles once. Mm. King Robert still wants me dead. Poison was the first. He won't be the last. He thinks that was King Robert? <laughs> I mean, it could have been. We'll never leave you alone. The last Targaryen. Your son will have Targaryen blood with 40,000 riders behind him. He will not have my son. He will not have you either, Khaleesi. They're going to make him run behind a horse and they're going to make him stand up all night? This guy's going to be tired. Mm-hmm. He won't last that long. Mm -mm. Uh-oh. Wow, so he just had, like, a character, like, development. Oh, jeez. Motive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the halftime speech. He's hype. I know, he just got too that far, phone too call. Too far, too far, too far, too far. What is that? He said, I will rape their women. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Where's his energy coming from, bro? He feels, like, threatened because they tried to kill her. Right. <laughs> but then he's turning, like, I don't know. Maybe he didn't develop. <laughs> like when you get a tackle for loss on the first play of the game and, like, you got all that energy. But she didn't like that. You could see the disappointment in her face. He's like, yeah, we're going to those women we're gonna them. and she's like what she's like oh no i just wanted to take them over like jeez oh no his wiener's out that poor dude so he has to do that and naked. be naked oh, yeah that's the worst it's all right let him through king joffrey and the queen regent request your presence in the throne room king joffrey king robert is gone the gods give him rest king joffrey they're already proclaiming him king he's not even of age wait is there an age but he said when my son comes of age but is there an official law i don't know lord renly joining us i fear lord renly has left the city yeah he has so long oh. as i'm 50 retainers what if he's trying to intercept that message? Yeah, probably. Because he doesn't want his brother to rule, but they already made Joffrey king, apparently. So what's the point? He's just going to start war for no reason. Right. Oh, Ned. And the queen's already set the precedent that it's King Joffrey now. So any anything against that is going to be seen as oh, like Ned. an interference. All hail his grace, Joffrey of houses Baratheon and Lannister. <laughs> oh my God, look at that little rat. And he gets both names. Lannister Lord and... of the Seven Kingdoms and protector of the realm. Look at her. Oh, she changed her hairstyle all the way up. Like she isn't like looking crazy. Right. Big brain. I wish to be crowned within the fortnight. Today I shall accept oaths of fealty from my loyal counselors. The barrister. I believe no man here could ever question your honor. Oh, what is Ned doing? Calling him out. They might just go to war right here. Robert Seal. Unbroken. So that obviously meant something back then when you had a seal and it was unbroken. Yeah, absolutely. It was your seal. But someone stole it. Lord Eddard Stark is herein named protector of the realm until the heir come of age. May I see that letter, Sir Barristan? Why do you get to say anything? Really, why does she? What if she just rips it up? She might. That's what I'm saying. Why does she get to see that? She's just the queen. <laughs> because she's just the queen. <laughs> yeah, but she doesn't get to say. Every time she tried to say something, he'd be like, shut this up, woman. Uh-uh. Hey. I hate her. 
Your shield. Ugh. Those are the king's words. We have a new king now. Bend the knee, my lord. Bend the knee and swear loyalty to my son. Hell no. And we shall allow you to live out your days in the grey waste you call home. Your son has no claim to the throne. Liar! Seize this traitor. Sir Beriston is a good man, a loyal man. Do him no harm. Kill all of them, I command it! Oh, hell no. He's been in charge for like two minutes. Uh-uh. -um. Escort them back to the royal apartments and keep them there, under guard. Men of the watch! They're confused. Kill Joffrey now, just kill him. I want no bloodshed. Man, bump all of that. No! Y'all are wrong for that. See, that's what I'm saying. You gotta kill Joffrey. He's tyrannical. He just did that just now. Did warn you not to trust me. Are you kidding me? What a rat. I can't say he's my least favorite character. Who? Littlefinger. Because not only is he like Whoa. gross and grungy, he's just the worst. <laughs> but listen, he told Okay, let's save this for the thing. That was intense. That was crazy. Uh there was four times more in that episode than any episode we've seen so yes, far. Yes, right? it was intense. Absolutely. So where do we start? Do we start with like like what happened just like now? <laughs> what just yeah, happened? go ahead. What's up? Um, so basically what we just learned is Ned's kind of a traitor now. I thought at first like they were gonna take him to the apartments, but he's gonna be labeled as a traitor now. Oh, okay. I thought you were about to say he was a traitor technically. No, no, no. Now. He's gonna be labeled as one by everybody because it looks like Littlefinger told him, he kind of just told him before, dude, if you don't do this, they're gonna turn on you. Like it's it's not gonna end up good. What do you think about that? I don't know, man. You know, it's one of those things in hindsight, I'll see but right now ned just feels like if i continue to play this corrupt game and lie and just continue to just go along to get along ultimately like in life you can only lie so much you can only do so much damage and so much bad so much bad and eventually your debts will come due uh, a lannister always pays their debt and sometimes debts can come in different ways right yep. it's not always financial debt sometimes it can be just the universe collapsing in on you right i don't know what ned's thinking i don't know what he thinks his aim is it seems like to me he's just such a man of honor that he knows he's ultimately just gonna die but i don't think that he he really believes he can change things because this whole empire just seems to be extremely corrupt i'm starting to see the south is obviously like an evil empire right, right? and and it kind of seems like the hand of the king it's such a glorified title but means nothing well they're all just titles that mean nothing right. i mean they only mean as much as like society jamie was them to jamie mean, was right? the king's guard but he's the king slayer too so right he's the person who killed the king and, and he's the guard the protected guard right and those that are like most powerful like like his own dad right he said he basically was mocking him because of the position that he's held he said you served two kings one was a madman and one was a drunk mm -hmm. and you know your son could definitely do a lot worse you know he could just be in a brothel all day but well i'm not oh god why am i defending jamie i'm not trying to defend jamie uh basically i don't like the lannisters at all right now i don't like that's, anyone that's right now besides like, ned yeah really. ned only and i like ned, ned Arya, um the, the starks the starks i, I like the Sark. a lot of people are giving me heck because i don't really like sansa but dude i just don't like sansa oh, because yeah i don't really like sansa just because you're a young girl i get all that you don't have you just don't have to be that way i mean there's plenty of young girls who aren't gonna be like oh i'm gonna give them children and be the queen like you just don't have to do that but she's too ambitious well she way. just seems brainwashed like she yeah, seems yeah, like sure. she's people have been telling her that's what she has to do do you like brainwashed people no yeah okay so but i'm not saying so i like, it's hard her. To like i'm her, not so. saying i like her i just i'm saying i understand why she's like that right um but you know there's so much time for her to develop i'm just saying it right now she's i mean young. she's just a young girl i'm sure i'll love her by the end of the show but as of right now i'm just calling it like i see it but yeah man basically ned's like dude i just i know this truth and by the old gods i just have to let it be known i have to share the truth right. and maybe his approach would be a little you know okay let me ask you a thought experiment let me ask you guys in the comment section say the rightful heir was joffrey right and he knew joffrey was a tyrant mm -hmm. but the narrative was oh joffrey's not really say the roles were reversed basically and the rightful the guy who they said was the rightful heir actually was a really good person that ned thought would be an amazing leader for the people and all the seven realms right do you think ned would still have that honor or do you think that ultimately he just wants what's best for his people and he's just do you get what i'm saying like is honor I fluid wants, to ned i think he wants honestly well I think he's very old school, so I think he wants whoever like was given the whoever's supposed to be the rightful. So if the rightful heir is a total tyrant, he's okay with that because I he's mean, the rightful it, heir. I just think that's how Ned is. I don't know. Okay. I'm, that, I'm that's just what I think. But I could be totally wrong about his character, but what it seems to me is also what it seems to me is in on Joffrey's defense, it doesn't seem like anyone but his mom has counseled him. 
because even his dad was like i'm not a good dad like so it doesn't seem like anyone's tried to step their like foot other than cersei and like help him out right teach him how to be a king and said like he got cersei like making him a tyrant well yeah i mean she's basically the worst possible role model right? yeah i mean she is a well i mean a drunk king dad out of the picture always in a meeting and always you know out doing his thing and then she's just telling john she's basically evil bitter she feels like she is the brain she's she's a narcissist basically and she feels like she does everything and the king's just a drunk which you know there could be truth to that and so she's basically living her rage through her son and right. she's channeled all of that negativity and brought it out but she's the reason, basically ruling the kingdoms through him she's going to the reason i posed that question about ned was because if you really think about the motivations that's going to determine a lot about what i think the future of the show is going to be because yeah. depending on that deep motivation which they have they're very similar but they're two completely different motivations that could determine what your action would be you know because if you genuinely only cared about proper lineage then you know your motive your actions could be completely different than if you genuinely only cared about what's good for the realm and you right know. but it kind of seems like ned because honestly if you're looking at it and everyone notices ned is good for the realm but he didn't want to take that position he would rather the rightful heir do it that's why i'm i know also he wants to go back home yeah but he's he's ned though so he he knows people have all this faith in him because of what he presents to people but he knows himself like any any good person shouldn't like, like if you're a good person you don't want to be king if you're a good person you don't right. want to be president you but know, he seems like the fair rightful choice in my opinion right like he seems like he He's going to do the right thing. Well, he also knows that he would have to insert the name of the show, play a Game of Thrones, and he knows how that game plays out. He knows how corrupt yeah, and untrue. There's no he's honor seen, in it. Yeah. There's no honor in that game because it's all, it's it's the truth is fluid. The truth only matters so far as who has power. And that's something Cersei's been very vocal about. And so Ned just knows that you, he doesn't want to play that game because that game's not played fairly and there's right. no honor and in it. And he would rather just be just, in Winterfell and they, where they seem like they value things. He'd rather be in Winterfell, but he's also willing to step up. So we'll see how that goes but i don't think he's willing to step up at the expense of war mm -hmm. but if he cares well, he, he kind of did when he he kind of but yeah, yeah that's like he did, did but he didn't like he wanted to take war to the doorstep but he didn't want to participate in war like you're right there just i mean i hate to say it it's easy for me to say but if you're gonna do all that if you're gonna live and die by your honor dude just go murder that little rat kid he's not he's posing as the king and he doesn't have proper lineage i mean there's no dna but the other question is does joffrey even know that that that's not his dad because he represents himself as a lion a lot and that's what i'm kind of wondering does he know that because if he doesn't then maybe if he finds out the truth that would make him not feel the same about his mother because she would a be okay, doing that and b be lying regardless of how he feels about his mother at this point because he's already of age and he's already like tasted kingdomhood i guess you could mm -hmm. say if he begins to hate his mother the only thing in the kingdom that's going to change is the laws against women are going to be a lot less <laughs> strict basically because <laughs> he's just going to hate women basically right maybe i mean nothing good's going to come from that he's not going to be like oh well my mother's evil so i'm going to be the ultimate good to get at my mother he's just going to be worse so no i know but i'm saying would that like change their relationship i don't know I but don't know. i guess to wrap things up the thing that i really took away in the end was the the little rat was in power for like five minutes the confrontation comes the minute it gets hard what does he do instead of trying to be like noble or talking out or be any type of king he, he immediately just results to kill them all kill them all such an easy solution to just kill them all right mm -hmm. i don't know we'll see where that goes yeah and also cal drogo's deciding he's gonna take oh over oh my gosh that's a whole nother thing we which forgot. they said they were everyone has been saying over and over they're never gonna do it water they're never gonna cross the water they don't have ships la 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 he seems pretty determined now Right, one minute he's chilling, and then they tried to poison his girl, and he's like, "Watcha gotta watcha ka. We will cross the ocean." Like, dude, okay. I'll rape their women. I'll burn their villages. So he's basically so saying he's gonna go kill the everything. He's gonna go rule. He's gonna go destroy it. It just goes to show, not to sound rude. It just kind of goes to show how dumb he is, right? Like one thing happens, and he just goes. But you saw crazy. Dan, Dan, Daenerys, Dan, whatever. Daenerys. It is. Yeah. I wanted to call her Danny, but Khaleesi. Khaleesi, yeah. You saw her have a look of like, I don't really, I'm not riding with that, like. She's like, okay, cool, but I guess his mentality is if someone from across the sea from this mysterious place can murder my Khaleesi. But it wasn't just, just word his of Khaleesi, mouth. it was his son too. Exactly. Yeah. So his mentality is the only way she'll be safe is if I conquer the world. <laughs> basically. basically, right? And you know, maybe that sets up something crazy, I guess. I don't know. We'll see how that goes, man. That's that's crazy though. But that part was that was some good character development by him, I guess. That was just a good a good it, show. He like, went that crazy. was a good episode right there. Yeah. All right, guys. It's been the Octobers. Uh thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if we miss anything, let us know. Uh, like I said before, I really did go and I studied. I just made sure that I recognized people's names a little more. Some of them I struggle with, like Viserys. Is that his name? The, the dead guy? No, 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 no. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. His name I struggle with. What about oh, it the guy? Matter now. What about the guy who has everyone whispering? Whispering. My little birds. That guy. Oh, Varus. Varus. That's his name, Varus. I'm struggling with that one. Um. But his nickname is also the spider. So when you see people talk about a spider, it's him. Okay, for sure. The spider. Let's go, guys. Game of Thrones. We'll be back with more. Let's go.